Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video and it is the end of another year. Thank you so much for coming in and taking a seat and y'all know how well we say out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl. Yes. And so we are doing the best of, I would say skincare and makeup. This is the thing I have. I know I'm splitting this up where my makeup and skincare is going to be separate. And then there are my hair products. I always do a best of like natural hair or just hair care in general, because I found that a lot of my girls that are relaxed, we love the same type of products, low high porosity. I am high porosity, I am natural, but that's a whole nother video. You guys will see that, but I am separating it, but it's all beauty, y'all. I don't know why people say beauty and then hair care. It's all beauty. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to run through my favorites of the year. Now, most of these are not repeats. I think these are ones that you probably heard me talk about throughout this year, but maybe not a repeat of last year. I really tried to condense it where these are products that have been my favorite this year. So if you're interested in this video of going through my favorites, then keep watching. Okay, so y'all, I didn't do lashes today. I Do I ever have, do I have a favorite pair of lashes um i do but you guys know i love the ardell i also love um i'm actually getting into lashes but ardell demi wispies ardell wispies are my favorite but or anything of that liking um so am i a fan of lashes i wear them here and there but i want to get more into finding my signature my favorite lash but demi not demi wispies Ardell Wispies are my favorite lash. I know. Usually I don't start with that, but we start and where we want to start. Okay. <laughs> but okay, so let's jump into skincare first. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is the mask brand that I love. Now I thought it was called Freeman's, but whenever I look it up, it's called Feeling Beautiful is the brand. And Freeman is on here. This is the apple cider vinegar. 4-in-1 clay foaming, wait, 4-in-1 foaming clay. That's what I wanted to say. But this is so good. I talked about this at the end of favorites, but I've been using this so much. I love it. You can find it at Ulta or where they, I think also Bed Bath & Beyond. But this is a mask, a scrub, a cleanser, and an exfoliator and a toner. Wait, a mask, a scrub, a cleanser, and a toner. That's where the four comes from. So it's a four in one. You can leave it on and dry it as a mask. I love it. It's without parabens, y'all. So this is so good and it rivals a lot of my high end mask. And if you don't know anything about me, I am about skincare. And one of the major parts of skincare is exfoliation exfoliating that skin so I love this so much and I don't think I've talked about this particular mask in the past but I had to bring it and show y'all what's been rocking my life uh, for the last year so I love this let's go into body creams now I love these are like my two favorite this would be in my top three this is the L'Occitane Armand this is their delightful body balm I love this so much I love that it twists first of all so if you want to travel it's not going to spill or anything but this is so thick this is perfect for the winter months and it has that light almond scent now let me say something about L'Occitane's almond scent the best almond scent of life I've never smelled a better almond scent Ever, and I love this so much I talked about this maybe around March when I did like a self-care type of video and explained why I love this so much I also love the oil I forgot to bring out the oil but I love coupling the oil it's a spray oil with this Bum. I know I said instead of going okay so so good I love this so much and I highly recommend it in the fall and winter month because of how thick it is. Amazing for your feet, by the way. I'm tardy for the party for this one, but y'all, this, I was like, mm -mm, why people like that? I see why now. It smells so good. You do not need a perfume, perfume when you use this. I'm talking about the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Boom, boom, bum, bum, boom, bum. 
okay this is so good and it smells so good I actually just went through one this is a new one and you'll see that in my last empties of the year here but this one is brand new oh, I can't even get it open it is so creamy it's so good it smells amazing and I always get compliments when I wear it this is one of those lotions that like if you want to be well moisturized and get compliments because of the scent it is insane it's thick a little bit goes a long way so you don't need a lot it is not greasy by the way neither one of these are like that greasy texture it just moisturizes and it's a moisturization that lasts all day you know the Nivea body lotion is amazing but sometimes you want to switch it up and I would say for switching it up these two are amazing okay so let's get into moisturizers these are two moisturizers I don't think I've ever talked about these in particular I know I've done a review on this but in terms of like giving it praise um, the first of all let's talk about the Laneige this is what I'm using right now and this is so good this is the Laneige water bank moisture cream this is the thick one this is amazing for at night now they have one that's more like a gel water cream that is awesome during the day makes your makeup glide on like butter I'm just saying but this is so good and also the belief aqua bomb this is is so good now this one is comparable to the Laneige one that I talked about I like this a little bit better the hydration is amazing I will forever talk about belief because I just love their products I am a fan of K-Beauty both of these are K-Beauty by the way I love these so much um, I've been loving Laneige for a couple of years now but I have jumped on the bandwagon for belief this past year and I love it love it love it okay so uh, exfoliators face mask oh one of the night pills I want to talk about I want to actually talk about two the drunk elephant glycolic night serum is amazing I've talked about that I will throw it up in the cards up here of a review that I've done with drunk elephant I also just did a haul of some items but I have been loving drunk elephant for a while now I haven't tried all of their things but once you find your item in drunk elephant you are hooked I'm just saying it's an amazing brand I love that night cream I also like the sea firma I don't know why I didn't bring those out I know what I did I'm actually about to film what I currently have and I'm categorizing stuff so Mm, I missed it but those two from drunk elephant are are amazing I'll throw up in the cards again that video just so you know what I'm talking about in the year of 2019 I am on a no buy I'm on a replenish no buy if you want to check out what I'm doing then go ahead and go to my second channel but I love the visionaire crescendo night peel by Lancome that is life I've done a review on it I, if I can remember, I'll throw that in the cards as well. Y'all, I'm trying to do things that I have done reviews on, but it's absolutely amazing. I will be repurchasing that. It will be, it's one of my night serums, but I can't get that until I have finished my night serums, so to speak. So can't get that right now. I'm probably not going to get it until like 2020 because 2019 I'm on a no buy, but I absolutely love it. The only way I can get it is if I run out of everything. But anyway, that one is bomb. Let's go ahead and go into face primers. Smashbox Primer Water. I think I've talked about it before, but I don't know if it ever hit the best of beauty in one of my videos. This is so good. I kind of like wanted to throw. I was like, this is gimmicky. This is not fix, you know, it's not fix plus. Well, it's not, but it's a great primer. I feel like it's a great setting spray. I use it as a setting spray and it is silicone free alcohol free so if you have issues like that and it's oil free so if you have issues with like combination of oily skin if you have issues with alcohol drying out your skin this is really hydrating and I believe it has hyaluronic acid in it as well so it's really really great for hydrating the skin okay so before going any further let's backtrack I wanted to put this in the skincare category this is the watermelon lip scrub from wet n wild I have fallen in love with this I believe it's not this was in limited edition but I have seen it 
I think on the website. So I wanted to mention it. I did talk about it in a favorites video and I love it so much. It is so good and it really does make a difference in your beauty regimen to have something to exfoliate your lips. So I just wanted to mention that. I'm going to go in the order of how I put items on my face. Um, now, especially I'm trying to like keep everything organized. The first thing I want to talk about, this is a color corrector. This is the Maybelline Master Camo. This is a face studio color corrector and this is in the shade apricot this is so good such a great gem at the drugstore for color correcting as you can tell it's a deeper i think they even have one that's red so if you have if you have dark dark circles and you are deep toned then you want to definitely go towards that one this one is really good it's that peachy and it's just like the um i love how it curves around the crevice just because my dark circles are like right in the corners and this gets right in there and I just love this so much and this is definitely a holy grail of mine and I wanted to mention it because I don't think I talked about this I don't I think this may have come out this year I'm not sure don't quote me but I know I have not had this in a best I don't know that but I don't think I have I try to look back when I do these, but this is so good. What's new in terms of concealers? Y'all know I was going to talk about this because I have a review and swatches of this. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have a few shades. The one I have in my hand is Golden Beige. This is so good. If you want to check out that review, go check it out. I show how I apply it and everything. This is so bomb. It's so hydrating. It is full coverage. You get half an ounce what concealer do you know gets half an ounce but I love that you this is a multi-use I love this I could actually get this in my shade and use this as my foundation when I'm traveling that's kind of like smart to me and you're not paying the full price of a foundation if you pull this in, I think it's $29 such a great value for how much you're getting and it being high coverage I love it so much so this was bomb this year okay so let's talk about my foundation fell in love with this i don't know why more youtubers are not talking about this and i'm talking about veil cosmetics i also love their concealers i have it on today i really really do love their concealers so i'm gonna throw that in as well but my baby my boo is this sunset skin foundation i have it in 4g this is so phenomenal if you want sheer coverage if you want light coverage if you want medium if you want full coverage if you want something that's natural but full this is so good and it looks like skin and still full coverage i don't understand this but this is like golden in the bottle this is liquid gold y'all and i love it so much and i just wanted to share it with you guys this it was bomb i love the coverage like butter so in terms of setting powders it goes to beauty bakery this is their flower setting powder in yellow it is so good it's so brightening i love it i had to i had to retire my sasha cosmetics buttercup because it was a little bit too dark but this one is brightening it's not heavy i had to before that i had to ditch my been nigh because it was just way too heavy under my eye and drying i love this it's super lightweight it's so good and i love the coverage on it so in terms of powders that is amazing and my ambient lighting edit that is in a project pan i love those powders absolutely beautiful i have it ready set and it's ready to go for travel I have it right here this is the lighting edit so good hourglass has become my boo okay i love it so much i was meaning to talk about the vanish stick but i also had this i know i'm everywhere y'all i'm sorry i was trying to be organized but i can't but the vanish stick foundation was my favorite found it's my favorite stick foundation but this has kind of spoiled me because I can get quality I can get a good phenomenal look and it takes seconds to do versus a liquid or a cream still love my veil will love it forever but hourglass has spoiled me especially since I do makeup in the car this is so good and I am really thinking about like later you know once I run out of everything getting like two or three of these one for concealer one for contouring or bronzing and one for my actual foundation because it's such quick it's so quick and easy and it's high pigmented so you're not gonna run out of those 
like you know I'm surprised how long it has lasted and it's amazing so yeah but I, anyway it made me think about this hourglass is so amazing I even have another product that I want to talk about but the ambient lighting edit this is so good this is so multifunctional I use one to highlight this one right here um I use another one for under my eye and the other one all over my face but it gives you that beautiful like diffused I don't know if you see that but it's so beautiful and it's one of those things that like you know when you can't help but pick up yeah this one this is a great buffing powder too finishing powder it's like set everything and just buff and makes it look flawless I love this and then also the hourglass this is the radiant bronze light I talked about this like a $50 bronzer is it worth it this one is I'm just saying and I don't like that hurts me that that this costs this much but it's so beautiful on and when you put it on you're like yeah <laughs> it's worth it I'm worth it I'm worth the $50 but it is such a great uh, bronzer I love it love it love it so much I cherish it y'all let's get into eye products oh before we get into eye products let's go into blush and contour i want to give a shout out to makeup forever for these artist blushes and contour and highlights this looks so good now if i want to amp this up i'm just going i got to i got to i'm gonna show y'all this highlight it is so good now i love it because it's subtle but i can make it beam if i wanted to but i just love this highlight so much I love that they've changed the packaging and they've given it I love that they've changed the Mac packaging so it has a mirror in here they have the one pan the two and the three this is the three pan it has a highlight blush and contour I love this because it would be perfect for travel including a mirror and y'all know what I say if you don't have a mirror don't talk don't talk to me don't talk to me okay be, but I'm just kidding but I prefer mirrors in my compact and in my palettes I'm just picky like that and we spend money y'all we deserve a mirror I don't need to like let's multitask here okay so let's talk about palettes now I gotta give a shout out to persona Soda Gasparian is a makeup genius and I don't know I feel like she needs to get more hype. I think the brand Persona Cosmetics needs more hype because these are phenomenal. This is the Identity Palette. I have done like um, how to use this palette eight different ways on their channel. And I also talked about this in a like products worth the hype type of video. But I love this palette so much. It has a mirror. It's perfect for, com I mean, for travel. Perfect, perfect. And I love the shades. And you can go from day to night. You can amp, amp and spice it up. I feel like I won't get boring with a palette like this. And also the color theories. I love this. I have the copper. Y'all, I wore this other day and people were like, girl, your, your, your makeup is fire. I was like, I know, but this copper, this color, this brick right here is amazing. I love this palette so much. I am actually traveling. It has a mirror too. Using that for travel, I need to put that back in the bag. Love it so much. And let's talk about palettes. Um, again, because those I really loved. I have to give a shout out to Makeup Shayla. The Maybelline was good. I loved it so much. Y'all, but she blew it out of the water with this Perception palette. I feel like that this right here... This right here is amazing. I love this. It has a mirror, perfect for com for you know it, perfect for travel first of all. But I love this so so much. It's so good, and it's multi. I feel like it has a lot of different shades. You can spice things up. You can do a basic eye and um, great transitions. I feel like that this is a perfect um, palette. And I did or actually a look and a review on this too. So I really loved that. If I do a review on a palette, y'all, I must really like it because I really don't even do like review and swatches and all that kind of stuff. But that one was a good palette. And y'all, I know I'm, I have this in a pan that palette. I think that I'm not panning this because I love it so much. But I, I need to. I love it because I don't and I don't want it to go bad. But 
the modern renaissance palette i feel like that this is the best palette that i would say abh has made norvina did her thing with this i love it so much and um i feel like out of all my palettes this would have to be in my top three out of all my palettes i'm not gonna say that this is like my absolute favorite but it's definitely one that i gravitated towards this year and i love it so so much and that's all i'm gonna say about that stila i was tardy for the party for this one also but these are the magnificent metal glitter and glow um I liquid eyeshadows I love these so much I have some more actually I have mm, I think yeah I have this and I love it so so much it was it's so good it's so good I love it so yay to that um let's see what else okay let's talk about lipsticks I'm so surprised I'm talking about liquid lipsticks too Persona, I'm telling you, Persona and Hourglass blew me out of the water this year. But her liquid lipsticks, y'all know I have been wearing this one. I actually could wear it today, but I've worn it in the last couple of videos and I'm like, they gonna get tired of this red. OG is amazing. No, this is Holy Grail. This is OG. OG is like the perfect nude. And then you have Flip Flamingo, which is a beautiful pink. I love these and you can mix them beautiful they smell good has that like nice vanilla scent and i can't wait for her to come out with different shades but i love the fact that she went through every color family and i just love sona for that but those are bomb now one on the pricey side that's really good this is the georgia armani this is the maestro um liquid lip cream in the shade 202 i love this so much i have not I've been wearing this a lot, but I have not talked talk to y'all about it because I'm supposed to come with a haul report of all my luxury items that I have in my collection. But I love this so much. I had to talk about it because I did purchase it this year. And you know when things are in your purse and you forget to talk about them? That's what happened with this baby. But I was like, I know I didn't put this in the favorites video, but I kept forgetting that it was in my purse. So I had to talk about this. Okay, y'all, the sun is going down. Okay, the final lippy that I'm going to talk about is Indian Rose by Tom Ford. I love that lip. Thank you, CJ Girl, for introducing that to me. Absolutely love it. And uh, it's super creamy. It's in my bag right now, but if you want to know how it looks on my lips, I, I do have it in a couple of my videos and it's on my second channel because I am panning it. I don't want it to go bad, so I'm using that lipstick nonstop, but it's such a beautiful, rich rose. It's like a rich, mauve rose that makes your lips look better and you look sophisticated. Like if that's the only thing, it, you better look sophisticated for $50 for a lipstick, but that one... I would buy and I know as much as it hurts me but I because I can't stop using it at least I know that I would get $50 of use out of that it's highly pigmented y'all I can get like six hours at least out of that lipstick I can eat and the lipstick will be still on it kind of fades within like the seventh and the eighth hour but that's a lipstick I cannot believe it's a creamy lipstick that lasts all day I hadn't tried the Pat McGraths. I know I heard y'all talking. I haven't tried it. I did get it during my last, <laughs> my last, my last haul that y'all gonna see. But y'all, those are my best of makeup and skincare of 2018. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll catch you on the next video and it might be in 2019. No, I got the natural hair coming. Yeah, so. It ain't over yet. Happy New Year, loves, and I will see you in 2019. Bye, babes.